Oh, hi. I'm Dr. Fanerozoic. I'll be your teacher for the next hour, so let's get started. Epic. Does anybody know what that means? You. Uh, I think it's part of the geological time scale. Yeah. Uh, today we'll be discussing the Oligocene, Eocene, and Paleocene epics. Got it? Yeah. The times that we'll be discussing today are 24 to 65 million years ago, the Oligocene being 24 to 34 million years ago, the Eocene being 34 to 55 million years ago, and the Paleocene being 55 to 65 million years ago. Animals Oligocene Behemoth Tops From the biblical monster Behemoth, believed to be a hippo, is an extinct genus of herbivorous marine mammal. Lived from the early Oligocene through the late Oligocene, existing for approximately 10.9 million years. Is the most primitive known Desmostylian, believed to be close to the ancestry of all other Desmostylians. Pinnipeds, known as seals, are a widely distributed and diverse clade of fin-footed semi-aquatic marine mammals. There are 33 extant species of pinnipeds and more than 50 extinct species. Animals, Eocene. Mesonyx, also called middle claw, was a wolf-like mammal of the family Mesochidae. Mesonyx measured about 1.5 meters long, 5 feet, not including the tail, and weighed about an estimated 50 to 74 pounds. It was a fast Wyoming, and it probably hunted hoof plant eaters, moving lightly on its toes. Albana puton is an extinct genus of salamander like lysamphibia found in North America and Europe. Members of the genus had a robust head and neck, and they lived in a wide range of environments. This genus of amphibian was the last of its order, surviving until the late Pliocene in southern Europe, and likely went extinct when the region developed its present Mediterranean type climate. Animals, Paleocene. Titanobo is an extinct genus of snake that lived approximately 60 to 58 million years ago. The only known Species is Titanoboa serogenesis, the largest, longest, and heaviest snake ever discovered, which supplanted the previous record holder, Gigantophis. By comparing the sizes and shapes of its fossilized vertebrae to those of existent snakes, researchers estimated that the largest individuals of Titanoboa serogenesis found had a total length of 42 feet and weighed about 2,500 pounds. Monotremes are mammals that lay eggs instead of giving birth to live young like marsupials and placental mammals. The only surviving examples of monotremes are all indigenous to Australia and New Guinea, although there is evidence that, that they were once more widespread. The existing monotreme species are the platypus and four species of echidnas, or spiny anteaters. Like other mammals, monotremes are warm-blooded with a high metabolic rate and have hair on their bodies. They produce milk through mammary glands to feed their young. They have a single bone in their lower jaw and have three middle ear bones. Five to ten important events. Oligocene. The first elephants with trunks appeared. Land mammals like horses, deer, camel, elephants, cats, dogs, and primates began to populate into larger groups. Many types of grasses appeared. A cooling trend caused marine biotic animals to split up as sea creatures able to withstand colder temperatures crowded to places away from the heated equator. The cooling trend caused lower difference in water plankton, a major foundation in the food. Continuation of land mammal animal group movement across Asia and North America caused dispersion of several ancestries to different countries. Daytime raptors like falcons, eagles, and hawks appeared. Seven to ten families of rodents first appeared. At least 17 normal extinctions, 20 new creatures, and 25 unaffected genera of mammals occurred across the Eocene Oligocene epic boundary in Europe. The appearance of several new grasses and savannas in this period increased general size of herbivores. Five to ten important events, Eocene. Oldest of recorded fossils of most modern orders of mammals appear in a short period during the e early part of the Eocene epoch. They were all very small, under ten kilograms. 
Two groups of hoofed mammals, Artiodactyla and Perissodactyla, became common at the time, caused by a major radiation between Europe and North America. The early Eocene is thought to have had the highest mean annual temperatures of the entire Cenozoic era. In the Middle Eocene, the separation of Antarctica and Australia created a deep water passage. By the late Eocene, the new ocean circulation resulted in a significantly lower mean annual temperature. The lower temperatures drove increased body size of mammals and caused it a shift towards increasingly open savanna-like vegetation, with a corresponding reduction in forests. The separation of Antarctica and Australia changed oceanic circulation patterns and formed a global heat transport, resulting in a global cooling event. In the early Eocene, there were relatively low temperature gradients from pole to pole. Also in the early Eocene, there was a high precipitation in a world that was essentially ice-free. It was an important time of plate boundary rearrangement in which the patterns of spreading centers and transform faults were changed, causing significant effects on oceanic and atmospheric circulation and temperature. 5 to 10 Important Events Paleocene Earth was recovering from the end Cretaceous asteroid impact. The oceans invaded many coastal plain areas as well as some continental interiors. Mammals began to take advantage of the nicks left empty by the extinction of the dinosaurs, evolving into many new species, leading to a major extinction of deep sea foraminifera and a major reorganization of many terrestrial and marine communities. This was a time marked by the demise of non avian dinosaurs and giant marine reptiles. The Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, a geologically brief interval characterized by extreme changes in climate and carbon cycling. The KPG extinction event has most evidence supporting the impact of a 10-kilometer diameter asteroid. Climate, Oligocene The separation of South America from Antarctica that had begun at the end of the Eocene allowed the formation of a circumpolar current which insulated Antarctica from warm water currents. Continental separations led to cold water currents in the South Polar region, allowing expansion of the ice cap on Antarctica that had started to form late in the Eocene. As heavier Antarctic cold water formed, it sank and flowed slowly northward along the bottoms. These changes in the ocean Currents affected the climate on land. Environments were dominated by more open vegetation and herbs and grasses became more widespread in mid-altitudes. Although the reasons are still unclear, by the late Oligocene, warmer climates returned to many parts of the world. The 7 million year depression abruptly terminated within 1 to 2 million years of the La Garita Caldera eruption 28 to 26 million years ago. Climate, Eocene a dramatic warming event occurred at the onset of the Eocene, probably due to the release of methane that had been trapped in sediments on the ocean floor. The first five million years of the Eocene were warmer than any other time in the Cenozoic era. After the middle of the Eocene, the climate became cooler and drier, a trend that continued for the rest of the Cenozoic era. The Eocene epoch ends in an ice house climate. Ice began to reappear at the pole, poles, and, and the Eocene-Oligocene transition is the period of time where the Antarctic ice sheet began to rapidly expand. Climate, Paleocene The climate was subtropical, almost to the polar circles. Ocean temperatures were high, and the polar ice caps were absent. Abrupt warming at the end of the Paleocene followed the release of a large volume of methane contained in seafloor sediments. The early Paleocene was cooler and drier than the preceding Cretaceous, though temperatures rose sharply during the Paleocene-Eocene thermal maximum. The climate became warm and humid worldwide towards the Eocene boundary. The Earth's poles were cool and temperate. North America, Europe, Australia, and southern South America Equatorial areas had tropical climates. North and south of the equatorial areas, climates were hot and arid. Could humans survive in the Oligocene epoch? I think humans might have had a chance here. Could humans have survived in the Eocene? Based off all of my research, I do not believe that the humans could survive.
Could humans have survived in the Paleocene? I think not.